So the, the question is, why is there something rather than nothing? I propose that henceforth we simply avoid the troublesome word nothing and focus on this question. Why does anything at all exist? But in some sense, I don't think there's a big difference. Nothing, in this case, is non-existent. The question is, did the universe go from not existing to existing? If it be, it, it, it's quite plausible that it did. It's not required, by the way. It could have been eternal. Certainly could be eternal, given the laws of physics. But, as I said to... And, and William just told me I could call him Bill, so I'm going to do that with no, without any disrespect, okay? Right. Um, that, uh, as Bill said in, 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 in Brisbane, um, as I told him, I bet that the universe did have a beginning. I don't, that doesn't bother me. In fact, I, I think it's more likely than not, though not required. But that means it did not exist. Now, did anything else exist? Maybe. But our universe didn't. But now, I'd like to respond to what Dr. Krauss just said a moment ago about the beginning of the universe. You can call me Lawrence. Bill. Lawrence, all right. Okay. Um, Leibniz's argument doesn't presuppose that the universe had a beginning. It's very important to understand that Leibniz's argument applies equally if the universe is eternal, uh, beginningless, and endless. In fact, Leibniz actually uses the example of a series of geometry books which have been copied from one another from eternity, and he says that still wouldn't explain why geometry books exist at all and why they're being copied. So we can still ask, why is there an eternal universe rather than nothing? But there could be other universes in which even the concept of classical space doesn't exist. Not classical space, but look, Leibniz's question can easily be reposed. Why does the multiverse exist rather than nothing? It's, and then you're, you're on to you the could, You could do that, but multiverse can be eternal. So it doesn't yeah, have to, yeah, does Leibniz's it, argument doesn't But it's a great question, it but it's not the question we're asking, which is yes. why don't our universe exist? And that no, has no. a simple answer. No. So the, the question is, why is there something rather than nothing? Doesn't yeah, have to, yeah. Leibniz's argument doesn't But it's a great question, it but it's not the question we're asking, which is yes. why don't our universe exist? And that no, has no. a simple answer. No, it's a great question, it but it's not the question we're asking, which